hello and good evening to you uh, welcome back to my channel and today with a special topic uh, we are here to discuss something about the Tanakya Tanakya we all know that he was a great leader a great mentor great teacher and he was the teacher of Chandragupta Maurya so we all know the Mauryan dynasty it is before Christ it is so much before like uh, Chandragupta Maurya the time period was 4th century BC and we know him because for his intelligence because for his writings of many books we know uh, him by many names that is uh, Brahmagupta that is Chanakya that is the Kotilya so he has written the Kotila Arthasastra or the economic books at that period of time and we have to know that Kotila Arthasastra he has not written this book for the first time before him also there was a lot of uh, books on the uh, topic of the economics and how we uh, should uh, deal we should negotiate we should uh, we, we should uh, confer many things of the many economic things and how we should bargain and how we should negotiate and how we convince someone to deal someone to make uh, any any uh, any things any accessories any uh, <clears throat> purchase to sell out so uh, for different kind of reasons he has many versatility many uh, much knowledge on different fields and that is why we remind him and his education his uh, knowledge is still relevant and we know uh, some of them uh, about the Nanda dynasty what Nanda dynasty uh, was uh, what Chandragupta or what Chanakya was given from the Nanda dynasty and because for his dispute uh, because because for his classes because uh, some, uh, some uh, king insulted him badly he had to exile from the country and he committed himself that because for his uh, raise revenge vindiction uh, towards the Nanda dynasty he um, pledged and commit himself that I'll make one king and as the story tells that uh, once he was passing by a village and that village he saw that some uh, boys were playing and uh, do, doing some street plays or doing some play kind of theater and as the Chandragupta Maurya's role was the king and he he is so uh, absorbed in the in that character that Chanakya thought that he have had such kind of uh, potentiality, capacity, competence over the leadership and that is why he uh, picked it, uh, that child and he raised him as his own child and he he able to make him and ascended him uh, put him as a king even though he was not a king's family there is no lineage before Chandragupta Maurya of from his family so that was kind of uh, dedication diligence from the Chanakya and uh, today I'll going to give you some glimpse of his way of aphorisms so this is the book of Radhakrishnan Pillai he is a very famous author from uh, this period of time and uh, this book is called Tanakyaniti and it is a national bestseller book and there is some aphorisms and firstly before going to the book uh, let us understand about uh, his four concept four concept about the Sam, Dham, Danda, Ved what, what is the Sam, what is the Dham, what is the Danda, what is the Ved uh, he put it that Tanakya put it in his documents that there is four ways of convincing someone that is some by making uh, someone understand by making uh, someone convince with your uh, speech with your uh, talking with your uh, sweet way of presenting someone that is some dumb means 
if someone is not convinced then you can give them if it is necessary then some bride you can give them some bride and because for that bride he may subjugate he may be subjugated and number three is dand if that is not possible because in uh, some sort of people in some group of people we can see that it is very much essential to subjugate or to make uh, him in your own capacity or make under you because the authoritarian position is very much needed when it comes to leadership if you are not in the authoritarian position uh, no one will listen to you so because for that actually some done the way so done is the punishment and Ved is the if someone under you you have uh, appointed someone or you have given uh, he has been given some assignment if he is not doing or he is doing that in a good manner then for looking at or for surveillance you can uh, appoint some uh, agent so that time to time you can uh, consult with him uh, and you can get to know and investigate about that particular man or that particular people that are they actually committed towards his work are they actually loyal towards you genuine or not that is why that four steps some means sweet way of talking dumb means give some money or bribery done means punishment Ved means know every step what the further step what the next step someone is taking so that that is the one part of it and uh, another uh, good aspect some of the aphorisms are there i'm, I'm going to read one uh, aphorism that is 2.2 what worry is there in my life if hari is the world's sustainer were he not so how for the child's sustenance would the milk flow from the breast of the mother thinking so again and again O lord of the yadus and lord of lakshmi serving only your lotus feet ever and always time passes for me so he is telling by this aphorism that what worry is there in my life if hari is the world's sustainer if god is there for me if nature is there if the all the power is available all the resources is, is available for me then why we should worry for some uncertainty in near future in the coming days there we should not be any frightened for the uncertainty because all are already given where we do not sow how for the where we do not sow how for the child's sustenance would the milk flow from the breast of the mother and it is said that are we not seeing that because for the child's sustenance because for the feeding of the child the breast of the mother is filled up with the milk milk never come before child emerge or before child steps in the earth coming out after child come the mother breast also filled with the milk so that too is so much in aligning or so much in time and it is saying that all all the other aspects also in our life it is already given but we are not looking at them in a positive way that is why we are always frightening that is why we are always uh, suffocating we are always hesitation feeling hesitation panic so that is the reason thinking so again and again oh lord of the yadus and lord of the lakshmi of lakshmi serving only your lotus feet ever and always time passes for me and here it is saying that if we pray only the god vishnu or the lord who is actually sustains the whole universe according to our hindu state if we serve only that particular first process or particular thing the other rest things that will be anyway uh, sustain or that will anyway uh, we are looked after we will be that kind, kind of uh, freedom or 
uh, abundance from the side of the god but our main goal has to focus our whole heartedly in the lotus feet of the god vishnu or the god so that is a very beautiful aphorism so it is uh, somewhere also written that you do not get what you desire but what you deserve you do not get whatever you are desired all the time you may desire this and that but you have to see beforehand that are you uh, capable uh, to deserve something if you are deserve you are able to uh, comprehend something you are able to sustain something that will anyway be given to you so that is the very fine perspective when one is devoted to god one is never stressed nor worried about what is going to happen time passes without one's notice so as einstein say once that if i stay with a young girl and if i stay with a old woman then in the time when i am uh, accompanied by a young girl then i feel that time passes very quickly because there is no bored in my mind and when it comes to old women and if there is no conversion no uh, interaction is going on no special um, topic is going on then i may get bored and that simple topic by the simple example he is describing the relativity theory and that is relative in relation to a girl in relation to a whole woman so in the same way when you are doing a particular work which is very poor which is very conscience in to you then you feel no uh, getting bored you feel ecstasy you feel happy you feel, feel the time is passing by without my notice without any attention so with this i'm going to conclude this video thank you